Welcome to Builder Buy Behind the Scenes. I'm your host, Gil Boyd. I want to thank you for joining us. Now, in our last video, we were looking exclusively at a, a couple of uh, camera vests, so we did a comparison. In this video, we're going to take a look at um, what I promised you guys about the mount, which is the Cotton Carrier Universal Adapter Plate, and that's what this is about. And we're going to go beyond that because I want to show you the details as we zoom in on this. We're going to take the Cotton Carrier Adapter Plate, which is the Cotton Universal Tripod uh, adapter plate and make it work with the Kessler mount. So the items we're going to need, I'm going to show you the overhead, what this is going to look like. I want you to get a close up on this to see what we're going to do. Now, if you'll notice, this is our Canon G40. This is our Kessler mount. It's on the camera. And if you notice the second plate, that is the universal tripod adapter. And this is the pin that goes in the vest. So to get this on the vest right here, we want to have that where I can have all that. What's crucial as we look at is this spacing right here, this distance from here to here. That's how much clearance we have to create to make this work. So what we're going to need, we're going to need three items and one tool. The three items, we're going to need the two plates from cotton, the universal adapter plate for the tripod, and also the little round dot adapter that goes on your vest. The third item we're going to need is going to be the plate from Kessler. With all three of these devices mounted, it's on that camera and it works. So I'm going to take the camera, we'll pick it up, show you what we're talking about. This goes on, down, and pivots around. And what's crucial is that clearance that I was showing you where that has to have just enough space for that to fit. We'll go back and show you the overhead. That space, which is crucial, which is roughly 5 30 seconds of an inch. That space has to be thick enough to clear this. If it clears this, when this comes around the bottom and pivots, it will clear that base. Took us a little while to figure that out, but we're going to show you with a separate because what's on the camera I'm going to leave and I'll show you what we did to get it to that point. And remember, the whole purpose of this is so that we can keep using our mouse because we have Kessler on everything. But so we can use our Kessler, keep it on the camera, still have the stability of the Kessler mount with a quick plate, quick release plate, and to be able to use it with a Kessler receiver as well as to be able to use it with a cotton vest. So we're going to show you. Okay, we're going to need three items. The two plates from cotton, the one plate from Kessler. And once we assemble all this, then we'll put it on the Kessler receiver as well as on the vest and show you how it'll work both places. So we're going to get our parts out. Universal tripod adapter plate, the flat hub, and then the Kessler mount. Now, what makes the Kessler mount work, if you'll notice, once the Kessler quick release plate engages with the receiver, these two little screws are what keep this plate from sliding out of the mount. I'll show you. We just happen to have an extra Kessler quick release receiver. And this is the beauty of these receivers. Of course, this goes on your tripod or whatever device. And this is uh, an interesting piece of equipment because we're going to show you how we use this for our overhead shots as well. But when these two pieces go together from left to right, it just snaps in, but it will not slide out forward or backwards due to that screw in there that keeps that from coming out. That little screw is what makes that work. Okay, I've got the camera up on the table with the plate on it. I've got the other three pieces, and we're going to work and put this together and show you how this all fits. So here's what we've done, and here's what we have to work with for what we're going to do. These three pieces. This piece and these two pieces. So the first thing we need to do is get these pieces mounted. This is the part that will go on the camera. This is the part that will work. So this piece has to be put on first. So to show you how this works, since we have one assembled that we're going to use to look at, we're going to get another G40 and use that out of the G40 to assemble this. Now this G40 has a plate on it. The wrench that comes with cotton will work to remove this. First thing we have to do is take this off, set it aside, not far. This plate has to go on first. Now what we're looking to do is to get this mounted so we still clear the battery. If you notice right here, that's the stop for the battery. Of course, you want to be sure that's nice and snug. If it's not nice and snug, then we're going to have problems when we put the other two pieces on and this piece will spin. We don't want that. First piece is on, nice and snug. When I first looked at this, I said there's no way that's all going to work. But it will work. One, two, three. I'll show you. First piece is on, lined up. Second piece will go on. And the arrow for this, if you'll notice, the air parallel because the blocks where the flat sides are or where those arrows are it slides down sideways let's say the camera with the mount slides down perpendicular and then turns so that it's parallel so now we put the button on got our gasket what's interesting is comparing the two vests the cotton wins hands down my concern was the mount I thought y'all need to get with Kessler and figure this out no I just need a little more time to figure it out for myself and that's what I'm showing you because the two will work. They're compatible. So we have the two pieces on, secured, lined up. Now the next piece has to go on is this piece. 
The only other concern I have is if you're using this with a gimbal because uh, anything with a gimbal, you change the center of gravity and it, it throws off your weights or if you're using a crane. So far, using the cotton mount with the Kessler mount, the two will work together working with those two devices. I have not had a chance to try it yet on a gimbal uh, uh, for pan and tilt. I have not had a chance yet to try it with a crane. That will remain to be seen. But as far as these two devices working together, they are compatible. But there's one change that has to be made. And this spacing, this cannot be all the way back. This has to be forward just enough. Now this part may take some trial and error because we've got to get this spacing just right. This front screw is a 532nd, wrench is included. So we now have two G40s that are equipped that they go on a tripod or they can go on the vest. Simple. I've had this vest on so many times I'm starting to get the hang of it, which is a good thing. Okay, let's see how well that fits. Goes on sideways, down pivots we're in business so what we had it works we're able to use our mounts and when I set this camera down it still has stability and that's what I was concerned about it's what I like about the Kessler mounts I don't have to worry about it rocking it just just clears with the feet that are on there and now if I put this on the tripod I cannot come in from the front but I can come in from the back so left to right lock it in and I'm down so that screw can stay Nothing has to be modified. It just has to be put together in the right order. Now, this looks like here's the uh, Zacuto compatible slide right through here, which really doesn't work for us. So that's why we're showing you how this stacks up and how it works. So this was the intention from cotton. This is what's practical from cotton. This clearance here is what's crucial to make these two items from cotton work with Kessler. And with this on, I can get the Kessler plate, lock it left to right, snap it, and it goes in and I'm still centered. I still have the ability to lock and of course the rear is locked but there's nothing that has to be modified. Now you'll notice the center of the camera is different so it's going to change the balance. That changes the balance you'll just have to adjust for that if you're on a gimbal uh, like we do or if you're on a uh, tripod like we do sometimes. Same thing for the crane, same thing for it because it'll change the, the point of balance. Uh, same thing on uh, any other device you have it hooked up to. Now the reason I wanted to show you this because the next video before we get into the go mics that we've been talking about I want to show you how we do an overhead shot not how we used to. If you'll notice we did a video about a year ago of how we had an overhead rig and it hits me right about here. I either had to duck down or I had to get over to the side to be able to see what I was doing at the same time. Uh, that didn't work too well. It, it was a great idea in the beginning. In fact I even took it to the next level and set up some scaffolding. And the scaffolding we set up was kind of big, but I thought, you know, with this scaffolding set up, it's great. It'll get through a doorway. It was the yellow scaffolding. It's, it's not expensive, but it's really sturdy once it's set and locked. And we could use it uh, also for a track for, for an overhead shot to, to run across. But the same problem existed. It hit me right here. And even though I could get it through the doorway, the fact that it hit me here, I either had to duck down or had to get over to the side. Because it was so big, it wasn't practical to get over to the side. It just uh, it didn't work. So it was a great idea on paper, but there's a lot of things I've tried on paper that just uh, didn't pan out, and that was one of them. But the way this works and the way this all sets up, you just have to watch your clearance. And I'm now secured where I can take this camera. I'm ready to go hunt alligators or wild pig. Now, if I get gored, more than the camera is going to get messed up. So I got to be careful about that. But alligators, I'm usually about 40 feet away. Hogs, I need to stay at least 40 feet away, maybe more than that, like, like up in a tree. So this is all about the cotton carrier, or as the package says, this is the cotton universal tripod adapter plus with a flat hub. So that we're able to take this in the vest, in the field, we have our camera, stays down close, and we've still got our Kessler quick release mounts. In the next video, I'm going to show you how we use the Kessler quick release mounts for the overhead shot. I think you'll find that really interesting. There's a lot of ways to do it. There's always more than one way to do anything. But I think the way we're doing it uh, is probably the most practical. So I hope you'll stay with us. Thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Gil Boyd. This is Builder by Behind the Scenes. And we look forward to seeing you next video. I think you guys are amazing. I'd appreciate thumbs up. And thanks for subscribing. If you got any questions or comments, please ask. We're here to help. Thank you.